Hey everyone, it's Jen with Chappie Plans. Thanks for hanging out with me for another Archer and Olive process video. If you'd like to see what I do in this daily journal for this week, then stick around. Hey Chappie fam, I still am under the weather, hence my not so normal voice, but just ignore that. We are going to watch me plan in my Archer and Olive journal. So I'm at week 24, which is crazy because in just a couple of weeks, we will be halfway through 2023. I know. So I'm using my Papermate Flare pen because that was what was closest to me. It's not the best choice because it does smear easily, but I'm just outlining all of these boxes that I had pre-measured. And this is where I'll do my journaling for the week. And then once those are all outlined... I am going to use my Tombow Dual Brush Markers to create some rainbows at the very tops of each of these boxes. As you can see, I've already sort of sketched in with a pencil um, just to sort of give myself an idea of how much space I would need. Now, some of the rainbows do overlap the bottoms of the boxes, but I don't mind that at all. In fact, yeah, it's fine. Like I've said this before, um, this journal is really just an opportunity for me to play. And so that's what I do. I don't really mind if it's imperfect or if it's, yeah, messy or any of those things. If it's a big mistake, I might fix it, but little things don't bother me in this um, project. It's really just a creative outlet and super therapeutic. Um, so you can see that I had already done one of the rainbows and that gives you sort of an idea. I was just sort of testing to see if I liked the way it looked because I get these ideas in my head and then, you know, they don't always translate well onto paper, but in this case, I think you really can't go wrong with rainbows. Like, yeah, it's just the perfect colors and I, yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. So there I go. I'm just going to do all the colors one at a time. I did really speed up this portion of the video to like 10 times the um, normal speed just because it, I think it would get tedious to be honest with you. Um, it's just not feeling great and it's a little bit hard for me to get a full breath. Um, this is a much shorter video, but I still wanted to share it. I'm just finishing up with this purple color here. And let me know if you ever have any questions about anything you see me use. I don't typically link everything in the description box unless I'm featuring a specific um, like sticker shop, but I can definitely try to link what I've used below. And then I just added a little drop shadow with the light gray marker. And then I stamped in week with my new super fun alphas from Paper Person Shop. These are called the Zelda, as you can see why they're called that. And then the numbers are from Paper Person Shop Betty. So they're both four by six stamp sets. I'll link them below. I'm not affiliated. Um, I just am a huge fan. And then this one is from Studio Calico. I used it last week, but this time I'm using the little star embellishment stamp to add some black detail, which is something that I did as an afterthought. And I'm glad I chose to do it because I really like how um, it adds a little bit more and a little something extra to the spread. And then I end up deciding that I want to add the stars all around where the week is. And I don't, I'm kind of on the fence about the final look, but once I started doing it, like that was it, I wasn't going to go back. So I sort of tried to create this ombre effect with the stamp using the red and then orange and then the orange and then the yellow. And then underneath I went to the yellow and the green and then the green and the blue and then the blue and the purple. So I sort of just layered the stamp repeatedly over the inks, if that makes sense. And you can see, you know, sort of how it's working out here. Um, the top half has the warmer colors and then the bottom half is going to have the cooler colors and it's okay. You know, it's all right. <laughs> I think it definitely achieves the theme. And, um, then the last thing I do is just go in and stamp the dates and that is going to be it. I really do like the way this looks overall and I know it will be fun to journal in. I would love to know what you guys think. And if you're enjoying these, um, Archer and Olive, daily journaling process videos, please let me know in the comments because that will definitely help me know what to share and what things to focus on filming and editing and all of that good stuff. So 
Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me for this video, friends. If you liked it, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of my content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, sweet friends. Remember that you are enough and I hope you have an amazing week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.